Okay, well, twin integrals on the spot. The first one is e to the x over 1 plus e to the x inside of the parentheses and then raised to the second power. And for the second one, instead of e to the x, we have natural log of x right here and right here. And as always, please pause the video and try them first. Okay, hopefully you guys have enough time to try this, and now let's go over them. Of course, we'll do the easier one first. And of course, this one is the easier one. Why? Because we can just do this by a u sub, right? So let's make that happen. Let u equal to the inside parentheses, which is 1 plus e to the x. And we will see that du will be just e to the x, and we have the dx. And now we can pair things up, because we see that this part right here, it's precisely e to the x times dx, and that will be just the du. Therefore, we can take this integral to the u world right away. We will have, let me put down the 1 on the top, over this part is just the u. So we have u squared in the denominator. And as we said, this right here is just the du. Well, that's what we have. And now to integrate this, it's very nice, because we can look at this as the integral of u to the negative 2 du, and go ahead and add 1 to it, which is going to be negative 1 for the new power, and divided by negative 1. And as we can see, we end up with negative 1, because 1 over negative 1, of course, and u to the negative 1 power, so we'll just write it as 1 over u. And lastly, of course, put that back. And of course, we can just write it as negative 1 over 1 plus e to the x. And with that, we are done. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten <laughs> the plus e yet. So, that's the answer. OK, now let's take a look of what if we have natural log of x right here and right here instead. Can we still use u sub? Well, if we let u equal to 1 plus natural log of x, we will have to get du equal to 1 over x dx. But unfortunately, we don't have 1 over x on the top. Somebody didn't give us 1 over x. Somebody just gave us natural log of x. Hmm. So what can we do? You guys can leave a comment down below. Let me know your approach to this one right here, right now. Go ahead. Hmm. This is how I will make it happen, because as we talk about it, if the top is 1 over x, we know how to integrate that. Well, let's just make that happen. So let's take a look of this integral right here. Let me just copy down the same thing, natural log of x over 1 plus natural log of x and square right here, dx. Well, I want to have a 1 over x on the top. That means x on the bottom. Mm, in the meantime, OK, I multiply the x on the bottom. I can just multiply the x on the top. Now, check this out. We can pair things up nicely. If we just pair this up, let me just put on this as like 1. So the blue part. Can we integrate this part? 1 over x times 1 plus natural log of x to the second power. Yes, we can just do u sub. And can we differentiate x ln x? We can totally differentiate that. So what does that mean? Yes, we can just use integration by parts. Well, of course, we'll do it by the d i set up. So let me put it down on the side, d and the i. And don't forget the plus minus, just to get ready. Well, I want to integrate this. So we have 1 over x, parentheses, 1 plus natural log of x squared. And we will differentiate that, which is x times natural log of x. And now, let's do this one in our head. I don't know why I picked out the blue pen, but I did it. Okay, just, well, I did, but like, I'm not going to use it. Anyway, we are going to let u equal to the denominator here. And it's going to be pretty much the same thing. You end up with negative 1 over u. And, you know, the x is helping us out. So this one will get negative 1 over 1 plus natural log of x, just like that. Very nice, right? If we integrate this, do you some. Now, to differentiate this guy, of course, we have to use the product loop. So go ahead, keep the first function, which is x, times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over x, plus the second function, which is natural log of x, times the derivative of the first, which is just 1. In another word, this right here is just the same as 1 plus natural log of x. Very nice. Why? Because remember, this right here, when you multiply the diagonal, it's the first part of the answer already. So let's write that down. We have this times that. This is negative, and let me put this down on the top. So we have negative x ln x on the top. And of course, we have this for the denominator, 1 plus natural log of x. And 
we are going to pair this up, and perhaps let me just erase this to make it slightly easier to see. This derivative is just 1 plus natural log of x. This diagonal is the first part of the answer, and when we multiply by this row, this is still an integral, and check this out. Negative times negative. So here we have a positive integral, and we have just this over that, and yes, of course, 1 plus ln x over 1 plus ln x, they cancel each other out. Very nice. So here we just have 1, and of course we are in the x world. And again, negative times negative, it's a positive right there already. And now of course we can just finish this right here, so I will just copy this down again. Negative x, natural log of x, over 1 plus natural log of x, and of course we add the integral 1 in the x world is just x. So we have the x right here. That's pretty much it. But of course we can make it better, let's get the common denominator, so I will multiply this by 1 plus natural log of x, and then right here I will do the same, 1 plus natural log of x. Of course, work out the top, this is x, and this is plus x natural log of x. And now, everybody has the same denominator, so we can put them together, 1 plus natural log of x in the denominator. On the top here is negative x ln x, and this is a positive x ln x, of course, they cancel each other out. Finally, we just have the x on the top, right here. So, that's pretty much it. So we put a plus c, and this is it. And in fact, this is actually one of my questions from the 100 derivative video. In that video, I showed you guys how to differentiate x over 1 plus ln x, and we use the quotient rule, and we end up with this right here. 1 plus ln x squared, like that. Then I was wondering, how can we go backwards? Meaning, how can we integrate this and get that back, right? I, I, I have a question just now. How can I integrate this and get back to that? That's a pretty nice question. Maybe How can we undo the quotient rule? Well, quotient and product are pretty much the same thing. So to undo the quotient rule, most likely we'll have to undo the product rule meaning we will have to use integration by parts. And we did that with the DI setup right here. But okay, if you guys like more math, then I would highly recommend you guys to come here and check out Brilliant.org. This is a math and science website that focuses on problem solving. And as you can see, they have over 50 interactive courses right now. And let me show you guys one of the new courses that they are offering, and it's really exciting. This is the Differential Equation 2. Especially a lot of you guys have been asking me about differential equations. I would recommend you guys to come here and check them out. So first of all, they start with nonlinear equations, and you guys can just read over this, and you guys can go through the slides that they have and answer the questions in one way, and you guys can also see the explanations. So it's really cool because you guys will be thinking along the way, and you guys can also see the nice animations that they have, and they really do cover a lot of things for the differential equation courses, and this is the part two version. Of course, go check out part one before you start with part two. And you guys can also use the link brilliant.org slash blackpinrepan because this way you guys can get a 20% of discount to their annual premium subscription. This way you guys can get the access to all of their courses, including the new ones as well. So if you are looking for an online place to learn more math, then brilliant.org is definitely the place for you. So hopefully you guys all like this one right here, and this one should force you to think a little bit, and you guys can leave a comment down below, let me know how exactly did you do this one right here. Right? And as always, thank you guys for watching. That's it.